Well, if you look at the urban heat island effect, it's a very real phenomenon. Wait a minute. Time out. Yep, yep. Oh, oh. Urb, Beep, jargon. Oh. Yep. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Urban oh. heat island real. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. It, it is, is real. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. It, it, this is just a document thing because what you're having is you're having those hotter surfaces. Anyone walking out on the asphalt can say this is a real thing. Yeah. Your feet are going to burn on asphalt yeah. versus maybe the desert sand. Yeah. You know, you know, comparing the two. So when you have this major city in the middle of a, of a landscape, you're going to have a warmer temperature profile. So when those outflows come in, first of all, the outflows are going to modify fast. Right. So you're going to lose the momentum and you need that momentum to get the air mass, the moist air mass up and, and start making into a thunderstorm. Right. So if you're already losing the outflow momentum and the strength of it, that's already going to put you at a disadvantage. So that's one thing. So it's just important that the city does kind of interact with these outflows. You got to, be aware of that in the landscape. So essentially, these storms will come in. Uh, they come to the valley to die. <laughs> well. <laughs>